Hey, hello, what's up, guys? Uh, today I'm going to make my uh, full video about speaking English, and I'm going to talk about uh, about our national anthem. I think you already hear about that. Uh, many uh, people uh, want to uh, change our national anthem and. They have their own perspective on that so that's why I choose today about this topic uh, what would should uh, we should do really about that is uh, do you really I uh, should uh, should change our uh, national anthem or we try to keep it and why people uh, want to change this national anthem is they have an issue so that's why I'm here today to explain it with you. Okay, so first of all, if we want to know why it's really important for us to know the actual fact about our national anthem. So as we know that uh, Ramadan Thakur uh, is the writer of this national anthem and we took uh, this uh, uh, this so uh, this song from his uh, from his book I uh, keep it done and to and we also know that uh, Rabindranath uh, copied uh, this song of uh, song what a voice from Gogan Hogger's song for Haikale Pabu Amitare so that's why uh, many people offensive about this song and the reality is uh, Romina Chakru wrote this uh, song in 1950, 1905. So, so that's why and in that time the British government, we know that that time the uh, British government ruled us and and that time they wanted to divide it, uh, the, the divided Bengal into two provenance. But the problem is especially the waste uh, Bengal people uh, do not want to define Bengal into two parts. So that's why they protest against this decision and Rubindra is one of them. So why did this government want to divide this uh, and it uh, distressed uh, this uh, Bengal because at that time the uh, the Bengal province was very big state in uh, in India sub subcontinent and that's why they problem some uh, some uh, problem to uh, rule in this uh, in this state so that's why British government wanted to divide this into two but. But the, uh, but the problem is, especially I already said you that uh, the waste people uh, did not want that to happen. So that's why they uh, probably tested against it. But at the time, uh, <coughs> uh, as they have portrayed before government divided uh, Bengal province into two parts and, and that's why uh, they protest against this and that time Robin Donald wrote this song to describe the to encourage the protesters but the problem is uh, uh, so that's why she, uh, he wrote this song so at uh, at this moment uh, I think uh, so that's why he wrote and yes but some people uh, show some logic is that way this not song uh, this song is not created for Bangladesh or there is no nothing about uh, Bangladesh in this and also Romina Chakru I uh, didn't mention Bangladesh in there so that's why the, the against this song and on the other hand yeah Romina wrote this uh, song to uh, about to describe way uh, describe waste uh, Bengal his mind that time and the problem is so that's why so if you want to know my perspective what should, what uh, I am thinking now what am I thinking now so I'm I'm going to tell I'm going to do that uh, yes I am uh, I also want to change the national anthem because it uh, it's really don't 
present our country. So that's why I wanted to change it. So here's some facts I want to know you about them. So if we know that Lord Carter was the main right of Bengal in the two at his day. But uh, so that's why uh, you know that a full divided Bengal is too straight. Uh, there was no any university or any uh, academic uh, office or other things that was not situated in uh, uh, East Bengal. So that's why East Bengal people are uh, cannot get higher education or other things or other facilities they have they have to more, they, they, they want it. But the problem is so that's why I think uh, the, the people where you know, East people always want to wanted to uh, wanted this but yes they also got it but after the heavy footage from West Bengal people's uh, British government uh, British government uh, have to have to uh, also uh, part or also uh, they, they remove their decision and they change their decision and uh, and and they uh, what should I say about that and they they add to a state again same one state so that's why uh, that's why waste people was angry about the waste people, especially the Muslim. We know that maximum Hindus were living in West Bengal and Muslims are in, were in East Bengal. So that's why they are a very trace against Muslim and Hindus. And you know that at that time, maximum royal family are belong to the Hindus and they always terminated uh, upon Muslims. So that's the Muslim wants a different state that time, and then they also did not want to uh, want to rule by a Hindu chamidar, uh, so landlord. So that's the problem. So against that, but after the support in two states, uh, we uh, especially these people get many benefit. After that, uh, British government made some. Uh, Big step and try to develop West uh, East Bengals like they could them uh, they uh, build Dhaka Vishwavidyalaya, uh, Dhaka University, and other. Sorry, I I forget something about that. So there's the problem. But after 1911. Uh, 12 December, uh, England, uh, the King of England, uh, George V, in Delhi, he announced that uh, they will uh, also add to trading one, and that's why uh, and they created Bengal provenance. So that's the thing, and that's why this is a really hot topic now. So I think so. Uh, that's why. But I think yes. I think this demand is very logical because this not song is this song is not written for us, and there is no mention of Bangladesh. And on the other thing is that um, and Shubhendranath mind he he always against uh, East Bengals, and East Bengal means. Uh, phrase in Bangladesh so he against Bangladesh so that's why I think we should not uh, follow this song as a national anthem anymore and uh, that's why the problem so yes if you ask me which song should we use as a national anthem I think I will go for um, go for the um, Oh, sorry, I think I forget the song right now. So that's all about it. So okay, I'm going to make one more video tomorrow, and we will discuss something about else about Ukraine, Russia, Russia war, anything. So for today, I'm leaving now, and see you soon. Please take care of yourself and pray for me. I'm trying to. Love my ears, improve my speaking English, but I, I don't know how many times it will take, and that's why I'm a little frustrated. And you know that I am, uh, I'm, I'm doing 
I was doing a national. Uh, I'm doing. I'm taking. I was taking in a, a classes. You know, in online classes. Uh, always speaking English, but the problem is they fought it with me because they took uh, some classes, but after that they, uh, they told me I have to evade registration on their or with them and I have to pay one more thousand and after that I have to pay another one thousand payment to them so that's a really a very big problem for me because I I, I, I knew I think uh, I thought that uh, uh, if I pay them if I pay them one thousand I think that's over and I will get the whole proofs but but now they are done and I, I don't know I want to, how should I do should I continue or leave the classes because I feel very disappointed with them because I'm I was very passionate with them and I uh, I was doing full classes